Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyme, AK Massage Nerd, and today I'm at the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education Conference with Pete, the President. I welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, how'd you get involved in this then? Uh, well, I got involved with the Alliance for Massage Therapy Education because I've been a teacher and an administrator at a school, and I was involved with the former Council of Schools, and uh, I believe that uh, teachers and continuing education providers and school owners need a forum and an advocate for uh, all the things of education and massage. And um, what kind of things have been going on here this week? Well, at this conference this weekend, uh, we did a uh, kind of had a theme and we really wanted to uh, remind uh, massage educators that uh, there's a there's a place for us and a history of the lineage of massage and so uh, we wanted to bring in uh, Tracy Ortelli who is from the National League of Nurses and what Tracy did is gave us an overview of the history of how uh, nurse educators came into being. That was awesome I just I was just in awe the whole time. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and we don't really want to take a hundred years to be able to really yeah. document and, and have the sense of what uh, uh, a massage educator could be. Yeah. So uh, then of course we, we brought in ben, Dr. Ben Benjamin and what a great opportunity for us to really talk about uh, how we communicate and, and the tone with which we communicate and so he taught us about the, his savvy method of, of analyzing verbal interactions uh -huh. and uh, it was really helpful f during the conference that people could then uh, reflect back on how they're actually communicating, what their habits are and what their patterns are. Yeah. And, and what a great opportunity on Friday morning because then we got to use those principles as we were communicating with each individual group. We had continuing education providers uh, together, we had teachers together, and we had uh, school administrators together. And uh, while they were giving feedback about our uh, premier document, the teacher education standards document, the core competencies document, people were requested to really remind themselves about how they're communicating. Are they thinking from an opinion point of view or an obfuscation point of view or are they bring in collaboration and connection. Yep. What I love about this is you guys are not trying to rush anything. So I know some people want to get everything out there right now, but mm -hmm. you guys are taking your time making sure you're doing it right. That's right. what's nice right. about it. Yeah, it's really yeah. a process and yeah. and you know people are teachers already and, and are doing an excellent job, most of them, and they need support. And then there are teachers who are brought into a program that, that just don't have the skills or the background and they need support. So we can't push anything on anybody, it's a voluntary process and wouldn't it be great if all schools had the most excellent teachers that they could ever acquire. Yeah. Where do you see the future of the Lions going? Well, what, what we hope to do is to be very involved with uh, the Academic Consortium for Complementary and Alternative Healthcare. Uh, that is a group that uh, is really involved with integrative medicine and, and working in the healthcare field. Um, I think that in terms of helping the profession uh, with government relations and being sure that we begin to have some kind of national education standards, some kind of base curriculum that we can all agree on, I think that would be very, very helpful. And then, of course, CE providers really need some help and support. Uh, there's so many different states to require for and uh, have credential for, yeah. and I think that we could have some kind of streamlining that would that would help all of the CE providers. And have you guys decided where your 2012 conference is going to be yet? Well, I can tell you that <laughs> it's going to be west of the Mississippi, okay. and that we are looking uh, probably the week before Memorial Day or the week after Memorial Day. Okay. So end of May, early June. Uh, we have a couple of uh, requests for proposals out. Yep. And uh, if we revealed that now, we just have them out and we haven't yep, evaluated yep, them. Yep. But um, do, you get, do you guys have a newsletter if people can? Yes, do, yes, we have a newsletter okay. and um, if people want to uh, join the Alliance, they can go onto the website, uh, okay. afmte.org. We also have a, a member newsletter that we do and uh, um, all of the information that we have from conference will also be posted up on the uh, internet. Yep, and thank you very much for inviting me to come here. I've just been having a blast with everybody and just so many positive comments about this whole conference too and the educators getting educated mm -hmm. is so nice. Mm -hmm. Well, and Ryan, I yeah. really want to acknowledge yeah. you yeah. For, the, for the work that you do. You know, you've been yeah. at every conference recently yeah. and this is really hard work and, and I really want to honor you for that because oh. uh, you're really helping um, document what our history is 
this. And yeah. um, at some point, I'd like to sit with you um, in the future. And I've got a couple of historical books that I'd like to sit with you oh, and share share with you. Yeah. So we'll we'll do this again um, at another conference. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pete. <laughs> so again, if you guys want to go to the website again, uh, afmte.org, okay. and uh, uh, you can go to the membership section. Okay.